Welcome to Blitz Chess number 19. In today's video I'm going to play a Blitz game, I'm going to walk you through what I think, and your job as a viewer is to pause the video from time to time, maybe ask yourself what would you, what would you play in the position I have, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can both deal with my time trouble. Uh, one more thing, I am recording this right away, right after uh, Blitz Chess number 18, because if you saw that video, everything was very quickly and crazy, and um, this, is, this is just as a, as, as a kind of... A, Fun fact. Okay, we found the game. Uh, we're playing with the black pieces. Good luck, Miranovic. E4, E5, Knight F3. I'm gonna play the, the Philidor D6. Normally, Knight C6 is played as the most popular. And I figures D4. I'm gonna take on D4, which is, I believe, the most um, the most ambitious try. Um, I'm gonna play Bishop D7 now against Bishop takes C6. If okay, I think Bishop takes C6. Yeah, this makes sense. And bishop g5, interesting theory suggests bishop g5 to sacrifice the pawn on g7, because after that you have bishop f6. Um, is that true? I think so. But now my opponent played knight c3, and uh, we're, we're talking about another position now. Now I have bishop e7, knight takes g7, bishop f6 still there in that position. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I would get I would be getting activity for the pawn if you if you're wondering about that. Um, I have knight f6, which is the most natural. Uh, against that, bishop g5, bishop e7, it's, it's probably going to be played. To which I'm I'm reasonably happy. Um, as happy as you can be playing the Philidor. Um, and yeah, so now e5 is a little bit of a worry. Okay, let's see. Let's start thinking, because I sense a little bit of trouble here. e5 is coming, so for example, if I castle, e5 is coming. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really starting to see the the sky. Um, like, okay, let's not get religious. Castles e5. What am I? What am I? Can I take on e5? Queen takes e5. I can play bishop d6. I can play 90s. No, I can't play that. I can play queen e8, but that's extremely horrible. I think I have to. I will have to play with something like bishop d6. So I'm gonna castle. If e5, I take. If knight takes, I can take on d4 and take on g2. I think that's fine. Okay, my opponent did. But if queen takes, I would have played bishop d6. Now I think I can play knight d7 and, and control this e5 square, which is which is pretty important. Or at least it seems to be. Um, yeah, h6, maybe another move as well. Because if bishop takes, of course, I take back and I'm pretty happy to get the bishop here. I already have the bishop here, but the double... No, I mean, two bishops against two knights, I mean. Um, knight g4 is there. Knight d7 is there. Bishop h4 is a good move, keeping the tension. Queen c8, e5 is coming because my opponent decided to prepare rook e5 with rook h e1. Um, yeah, thinking about this. Knight g4 or knight d7? Seems like knight g4 must be a little bit more active. But also it might be... It might be... Also more of a weakness. I'm gonna go knight d7. Looks a little bit passive, but yeah, I I am trying to get knight e5. Not now, but at some point. I see bishop takes e7, queen takes e7, knight d5 as probably the best way of, of handling this as white. Probably going to have to take that knight, unfortunately. I know that bishops normally are worth slightly more than knights, even more in opening open positions, but after knight d5, that knight is pretty active. I could play queen d8. Maybe that's okay. And 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 not take yet. But if White keeps playing in this active way, probably I will end up having to take to take the knight. But okay, bishop takes e seven, queen takes e seven, knight d five. I'm still choosing between bishop takes e five and queen d eight. Is there anything else my opponent can play? Okay, e five, maybe 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 playable, but it looks a little bit weird after bishop takes f three. Bishop g three, bishop f six. I'm pretty happy. I think. So e five. Okay, interesting. Bishop f6, is my opponent going to go e5 here? I don't believe in that. Okay, let's play rook e8. I have bishop f6, but e5 may be a little bit worrying. Although, wait, why is that worrying? Bishop takes d takes e5. I also have bishop takes f3. Seems wrong. But I, of course, as, as always, or as, as many things, as many positions, it's difficult to prove. Something may seem in a certain way, but it's difficult to prove. So, but bishop is this, this, I can take. If takes, of course, I I take. And I end up 
the winning material. I think I'll I'll do for that. I'll do that. If if e5 bishop takes f3, yeah, there we go. So my opponent agrees. And now I play rook e8. And I don't know why my opponent did that. Because now I'm getting play against the e4 square. Bishop g3, I, I would rather have not my white would rather not having the bishops. Um okay, my opponent played that. You know, knight c5, I think. Knight takes c6, b takes c6. At least my pawn is uh is prevent preventing some stuff. E5 takes, 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 takes. Hang on. Wait, what? What happened? Takes, takes, takes. Takes, takes, takes. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, that's equal. It's something I I have to I have to definitely calculate. That's why. And now we're getting this, but I'm gonna get out of that pin once and for all. Maybe queen a6. Maybe rook b8. I like my position. I just have to make moves fast. Quickly, sorry. Rook b8, a6, queen a6, sorry, a5. Ideas looming in the sky. In the air, sorry. You could say in the sky, I guess. Um, Yeah, very tense. Queen a6, rook b8. What is my opponent gonna play? e5. E5, I can take on e5 and the rook, and I'm fine. Rook b, king b1, sorry, rook b8, and I have actually a, a deadly threat, which is bishop takes c3. I'm gonna do that actually. Queen a6, another idea. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go for queen a6 and queen a3. Peace play, or, or peace activity, I should say. Queen a3 now, and knight a4. Wait, what? Now, this is very bad. Knight d4, knight a4, right? This is pinned. What is my opponent going to play? Queen c1, knight c3. This is game over. And this is why, I mean... I'm not, I'm not sure what my opponent could have played. I was too focused on what I was going to play against... Um, against... Um, good game, Miranovic. I was so focused on what I was going to play against my opponent's responses that uh, I, I... Yeah, I... I'm not sure what my opponent could have done, but I'm quite sure that b3 is wrong here. Um, yeah, maybe maybe this is the critical moment. It feels like also here, we, we probably missed another critical moment over here in, the, in this part of the game. But definitely after this, I mean, once once you play b3, look at this bishop. This bishop is making mo the most of these dark squares. So, uh, on top of that, you get your queen on a3 and your knight on a4, and that's that's definitely going to be game over. Um, okay, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, have a nice day.